Hey everybody, welcome to the Spitter Swallow Beer Review. Shag Dog, the great. Um, and we are doing Poke the Bear by Reverly, Reverly Brewing Company. Uh, it's an American Pale Ale. Uh, let's see, uh, Beer Advocate gives this one a 85. It's considered a American Pale Ale. 5.5% ABV and Reverly Brewing Company, I believe is, I can't remember if that's Charleston or, yeah, Charleston, South Carolina. And it's considered American Pale 5.5% ABV. Okay. Any notes? No notes. Uh, but it does have that score. So that's good. And this is our summer fiasco of beers and no shave summer. No sh or not no shave. Shave summer. No mustache summer. Yeah, shave the mustache off. I'm going to keep it off till 4th of July probably. I'll have it back by then. Uh, summer fiasco of beers. I'm trying to get as many beers done as possible because I got about 22 beers to drink. Summer style beers. Most of them with the exception of about three or four. And this one's a. I had a camping one earlier. This or fog. Let's poke the beer. The bear, not beer. You can poke the beer too. Um, yeah, looks like a pale ale. Nice frothy, white head. A little off white. Uh, cloudy. This one got. No, this one has a lot of carbonation going in it though. And I'm a little scared because I thought some of that carbonation was uh, sediment like the last one, but it's just carbonation fl floating up. Um, yeah. Kind of an amber, brownish, gold color, I guess. Head's almost a little bit more than pink right now. It's going down, but... Yeah, the typical pale ale. It almost has that, uh... A little bit of a brighty smell to it, uh... Yeah. More of a, a Roman meal smell to it. It almost smells like a Marzen. Not quite, but a little bit. Pick up a little bit of the hops, a little bit of, you know, maybe piney grapefruit, but very slight. Let's just give it a try. It's to poke the bear. I got some bear stories to tell you, too. All the bear stories of my life. It's pretty good. I had a couple beers by the, these guys, and I like most of them. I just heard a hornet. Damn hornets. Uh, yeah, most of these beers are pretty good. Test, test. I'm coming through, right? Man, it doesn't look like the mic's picking up. Hopefully that's coming through. Maybe I'll add a little gain to that. Eh, where's the gain at? Oh, shit, the gain's almost all the way up. I don't know. Uh, pretty good beer uh, for a pale ale. American pale ale, too. Not overly hoppy at all. Pretty smooth. Not really hoppy. I, I think... It does have a little bit of that bready, um, biscuity taste to it a little bit. A little bit of a, a little bit of a grapefruit pine, but it's very light and mellow. It's not really bad. I think some even regular beer drinkers might like this. It don't taste like a, a you know like a Bud Light Wise or anything like that, but it's not overly hoppy. So it doesn't have that really strong hot bitterness. So, and it's a pale ale. It's not an Indian pale ale. So you'll have that. Yeah. Now, I hope this is, uh, well, this one I'm recording. The previous one I did it through StreamYard. I recorded it to the computer, but I, or to StreamYard. So I was going through Wi-Fi, so that one might come out crappy. Now this one I'm recording straight to the computer. Uh, of 
course I'll have to upload it on my crappy internet at a later time, but so it might come out crappy still because of the crappy connection and upload. But uh, not bad. I mean, look at that. That's a nice. I like. I mean, it's not really super special, but poke the bear. Look at that bear. Let's go ahead and grade this one. I usually don't drink on work days. I got off work today at 7, 7 a.m. a few hours ago, and I decided to do a couple of beer reviews. I got 22 summer-style beers to do. I'm like, let's do one or two beers every day, if I can, and get them done with. And then maybe four, I'll have get rid of these by... I should be done at that point within two weeks probably, right? And then I can concentrate on uh, 4th of July at that point, Day of Beer Independence. And I actually have two of those beers are actually American beers, American flag or something to do with liberty or freedom or whatever. So two of those I can save for Independence Day, which to us is Day of Beer Independence. Right now it's the beginning of summer pretty much, even though summer don't start to June 21st, but it's Memorial Day weekend. Summer fiasco of beers. Uh, the first summer fiasco me and Jammer had way back, what was that, summer of 2012. Yeah, it was a summer fiasco of beers. We, were, we did a, I went to, a, we went met, because he lived in St. Pete at the time, but we met up at his parents' house who lived out by Orange Grove. We decided to do it in the backyard. We had tons of beers to do, but we were having issues with freaking ladybugs and not ladybugs, uh, love bugs and a whole bunch of stuff. So we, it was, it was horrible. We were having a horrible day. We had a good time, but it was a, like we called it summer, a spur of the moment. We called it summer fiasco of beers, and there it stuck. So every summer we call it the summer fiasco of beers. There's your history lesson. And anyway, that's been going on for uh, this is the 11th. Right? 22? Wait, the first one was 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. This will be the 12th year of summer fiascos. Even though our original channel is gone, the memories still live on. <laughs> Cloudy day, windy. I hope it don't rain. Don't look like it's going to rain, but you never know. Um, yeah, pretty good beer. I'm going to go ahead and grade this. I mean, it's an easy drinking pale ale. A little breadiness to it. A malt, bready, biscuit. Not really biscuity, biscuity, but you know what I'm saying. A little bready pale a, a slight hop, a slight pine or grapefruit in there, but not much at all, you know. Just a nice, easy, bready, malty pale ale, I'd say. I'm going to give this a... B plus and a swatter swallow and a quarter on a spitter swallow scale of drinkability. Now let's get into these bear stories. Poke the bear. Uh, any bear stories? My youngest bear story is I can't remember what grade I was in. I only know if I was going to that school yet. I did end up going to the school. I think I was still in George Washington School, but another school called Booth. Um, I think I was in fourth grade at Washington. So that year, a bear came down from the, the hills around upstate New York where I lived and was in the school property before school started. So they had cops out there stopping kids from coming to school. They got somebody out there with a tranquilizer, shot the bear, took it somewhere out in the wild. So they didn't kill the bear, so that's good. That was the first bear story. Second bear story I know of is after I got out of the army, year or two, maybe three, four, maybe four years after I got out of the army, I was living with my parents and uh, I worked night shift like I've done all my damn life since I've been in the army. Um, but my parents were not watching my niece and she was a crybit. From the day she was born, she did nothing but cry. From the time she was born until she was about four or five years old. Cry, cry, cry. So my mother told her I was the big bad bear. Stop crying or you're going to wake the big bad bear up. Which was me. 
Which I don't think I'm that bad of a person, but I guess I did. I'm kind of grumpy when I wake up, I guess. But So that's the big bad bear story. Don't poke Shag Dog, because I'm a big bad bear. And the only other bear story is uh, recently the cocaine, cocaine Bear, which is loosely based on a true story. I bought that movie because I didn't want to wait for it to come out on some of the streaming service, so I actually bought it. I'd have to say I'm not going to buy movies anymore because most movies I buy now, I watch it one or two times, maybe if I'm lucky, and it goes up in the DVD rack and it's never watched again. I don't know why that is because I used to watch, when I had, you know, when I first started getting DVDs, I watched shit all the time. Of course, I used to buy movies that were classics, you know, like old movies that I like. Maybe that's the reason why, I don't know. But the cocaine bear, it wasn't super bad, but it wasn't good. Uh, I, I expected more killing, actually. It, it, the bear did kill a couple people, but I was expecting more and more, you know, other things. I think they could have threw a few more things in there. Anyhow, it wasn't what I would expected it to be. But it wasn't too bad. I mean... They could, but they could have made it better. I mean, it's friggin' 2023. I mean, that was about as good as a 1988 movie, really, for horror type. Matter, matter of fact, there's some 19 late 70 movies that were probably worse than that. You know, as far as killing multiple victims. Oh well, what can you do, right? But I've been here 16 months, and I I don't even have any friends. Only one friend I have is beer. I might do one more beer review. What the hell? What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. My, my computer ain't going to tell me because this recording program I have up won't let me. Well, anyhow, let's finish this beer. I might do one more beer. It's not really a summer beer, but it does have a little bit of maybe the first summer in history. What the hell kind of bug is that? Uh, so I might do that. Hopefully it's, it's not a bad beer because the label ain't that great. But I get what the label's saying. But Yeah, one more beer review. What do you think? Give me three for the day. And four is my limit. And I'm probably... That's going to screw me up bad. Should I call into work? I don't care. All right, Shag Dog, Spitter Swallow Beer. Oh, we got to finish our beer. We finished our beer on the Spitter Swallow Beer Review. So let's do it, right? Someday I'm going to get a better computer. Nothing special on the can, though. It says Brewed and Cannon, Reverly Brewing Company, Charleston, South Carolina, a product of the USA. That's pretty much it. It says Charleston, South Carolina. Again, and it says Art Credit. Chris Kemp to the art, so props to Chris Kemp. I like that art. You know, it's kind of almost like cocaine bear, bear, but it's poked the bear. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. I think Jammer would like this one. Jammer fan might have too. Jammer would have liked that. Any other bear stories? I think that's it. I never came across a bear. I've seen a bear one dead bear on the side of the road once that's about it no grizzlies of course I live on the east coast so you won't see any grizzlies and if you did something's up brown bears black mainly black bears on the east coast I think you might have some brown bears too uh, there's a saying something too you're supposed to do one thing for a black bear like one of them you're supposed to run or, or actually not run but stand up to it and the other one you're supposed to lay down, but I can't remember which one's which. It's kind of like the snake with the uh, coral snake. Red on black, stay the hell back. Red on yellow, friendly fellow. But I get those mixed up. Maybe it's red on black, it's a friendly jack. Red on yellow, deadly fellow. I don't know which one's which, actually. I'll have to look that up someday. But anyhow, if I see a damn snake with red, yellow, and black, I'm killing it either way. Whether the black's touching the yellow or the red's touching the yellow, don't matter. It's dead. I actually came across one of those in Florida once in my driveway. 
And I can't remember which the saying, so I just grabbed my damn shovel out of the shed and I just, I tried jabbing it, you know, trying to cut the head off. I was like, <laughs> I kept missing it. I nicked him maybe a few times, but then I just got the flat end of the shovel and I just smashed that motherfucker. I was like, smash, smash, smash. Kind of like that Kai guy did to that whatever guy. Yeah. But mine was a snake, not a human. We gotta finish this beer. I might do that last one if I got enough time. I I can go back to work tonight and this supervisor I have on tonight and last night and tonight she just she thinks I'm Superman. She just puts me on all this heavy lifting type jobs. I mean, there's two particular jobs I do, three particular jobs I do, which is heavy lifting. But I guess she thinks because I get the one particular job I do. I get done anywhere between, you know, um, uh, one thirty. We go to lunch at two. I usually get done by one thirty, or get done right by by lunch, or get done at. We come back from lunch after one hour by three thirty. So somewhere around there, I get done. And then the use, use, most, most of the other supervisors, or old supervisors we had, would send me off to do a little bit lighter work. And then towards the end of the shift, I have to do two particular jobs, a little bit heavier lifting again. But that's okay, I got a little break, you know, for an hour or two, two hours, whatever. But this woman, she puts me on the next heaviest thing. I'm like, you got know, like freaking a lot of young dudes here. 20, 25, 30 year olds. I'm, I'm like 52 years old almost. That's all right. But, and I don't mind doing heavy lift at work, but man, doing it five days in a row, it's it's not good. And I've been on vacation for one week. As soon as I went back to work tonight, first you know, I do my normal job. Got to down stack a lot of stuff. And then at first hour I was like, man, I can't do this shit anymore. So that's why I was like, you know what, today, not today, but tomorrow I'm going to do a few things on a computer. Probably within a week or two, I'll probably be out of that job. I got things to do. Spit or swallow beer review. If you can find this one, try it. It's a good pale ale. Uh, poke the bear rever reverently. I did it. I done a couple of beers by them. I think maybe one, even one time with Jammer, we might have done one or two. One of the few South Carolina beers we might have got in Florida. Uh, that's an actual craft, you know, not the uh, not the coastal lager or anything like that, but not bad. Um, we'll see you on the next one. I might do one more. Spit or swallow beer. Shag dog. Summer fiasco.